sorry. I, My fault. Um, I'm gonna go get some more wood. Did you tell her? Oh, yeah. I said... I said, Sam, we've known each other for a long time now, and I think you know how I feel about you. So maybe we should just talk about it and decide if we should go out for real. Yeah, and? Well, she said she liked me too, but didn't want to get in a relationship right now because she had a lot going on, and... Oh, who cares why? Bottom line is she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. I should never... We're here, let the games begin. Who's up tonight? I am. I've been saving this story for a long time. And I think tonight's the best night to tell it. It's a story about illusion and deception. Some things may look familiar, but they could be hiding a secret that you'd never expect. It could be beautiful or mysterious, or like in my story, something evil. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story, The Tale of the Night Shift. Now over. All visitors are asked to leave the hospital by the main entrance. Felix! Is this your signature, Zebo? Uh, uh yeah. You signed for a water pump. Did I say you could sign for shipments? No, but. But you did. Now it's gone. Gone? But the thing is huge. Find it, Zebo. Or find yourself another job. Night shift, you know? <laughs> I mean, how do you do it? Uh, I got school till three, then track practice, homework, and dinner. If I want to volunteer, it's the night shift. When do you sleep? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me check my schedule. <laughs> I'm late. I'm Mr. Tree won't take his meds. Okay. His roomie's got a fever. Number seven's in pre-op for bright and early. And number five <laughs> wants her mommy. I thought the night shift was supposed to be quiet. Amanda! We've got a new volunteer. I want you to show her around. Margo, Amanda. Amanda, Margo. Now you're old chums. Don't annoy me. Hi. Hi. You picked the night shift, too? Yeah, school kind of takes up a lot of the day. Tell me about it. Amanda! I'll be right back. Visiting hours are now show you something. You know, I don't think we're supposed to be... Hey! Guy number 59 says he's a friend of yours. Who is he? Go see. He's cute. Hello? Amanda? Is that you? Colin? What's wrong? 
tomorrow, getting tonsils out. I'm so sorry, I... What? And you can take care of me. You want some candy corn? Sure. Oh, come on, it was a goof. No, you're a goof and I'm busy. You're always busy. I need comfort. I don't think so. Oh, you gotta be nice to me. I might not make it through surgery. Yes, I wish. Hello. Hello. What room are you in, sweetheart? Hey, you're not supposed to... Are we playing hide and seek? After that, I'll leave you alone forever. Colin, I told you before, I think you're a nice guy, but I am too busy. Too busy for what? To have fun? Sorry, you got away from me. This place is so boring. Let's go to the morgue. I've got him. Come on, Speedy. You're a patient. Pretend you're sick before we all get in trouble. Okay, but I'm not giving up till you give in. Oh, oh, man, you scared me. That guy's in my class. He's been bugging me for months about... threat. only me. Stop bugging me. Go to bed. My roommate's gone. What do you mean, gone? Who's your roommate? Bud, the kid with the broken leg. He took off about an hour ago and didn't come back. I'll tell Nurse Hanton. Oh, whoa, wait. I don't want to get him in trouble. Can't we go find him? Oh, come on. He's just having fun. But I guess you wouldn't know about stuff like that. All right. If I get in trouble, I'll cut out your tonsils myself. Bud. Bud. Hey, this is like the first time we're doing something together. Yeah, my life is complete. Go. Keep them in here. They don't. Something's wrong. Nurse Hanson! I found this in the closet empty. There's a ton of them in there. Really? How strange. They're shredded like a dog got them. I think we better call security. You're right, Amanda. I'll do. so jumpy. I don't know. Something weird is going on. Did Bud come back? No, but I know where he might be.
was the one place you wanted to see. Well, he's not here. Let's go. Wait. Is that a body? No, it's a pinball machine. Come on. I've never seen a dead body before. Colin, don't! It's no big deal. It's just a dead body. It's Felix. Who? Felix. He works on maintenance. Not anymore. He's, like, really dead. I just saw him tonight. And he was fine. Let's get out of here. Felix. Colin. Sorry. This whole place is starting to feel like a morgue. Security should have been here by now. I don't like this. Let's go downstairs. Evening, Amanda. Jack, what happened to Felix? Felix? Felix is just fine. Depends on your definition of fine. Why don't we go see him? You go. Tell him we say hi. What is with that guy? I don't know. This is weird. Let's just go down to the lobby. Hello, Amanda. Uh, Felix, but you're... you're... Dead? <laughs> sort of. How can you be sort of dead? Oh, it's not so bad, really. You'll soon find out for yourself. What are you doing, man? What is your problem? <laughs> My problem is I was the first. The first what? You drank too much and made me like this. Felix, we'll get you a doctor. <laughs> there are no doctors. There are no nurses, there are no patients, there's nobody left. It's been feeding on everybody. Only enough to control them. Not enough to cause a panic. Once it gets everybody, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back and finish them off. Who? What are you talking about? Maybe it's not too late. It hasn't gotten you. Maybe you can stop it. Easy, pal. Felix. You're scaring me. Amanda. Amanda, please come with me. I'm getting weaker. I don't know how much longer I can fight it. Fight what? I'm changing. And if someone doesn't stop it, you will do. shift itself here. Can you believe it? The box said it was a water pump. <laughs> Funny thing is, I'm the one who signed for it. Yeah, that's real funny. You guys are not gonna believe this. You have to. in the hospital. Get out of here. There's no such You want me to prove it to you? I'm fighting the change, but I can easily... Ah! Ah, the only thing it needs is that coffin. If we can destroy it, then... Amanda? Well, are you down there? 
Marco, are you okay? Sure. Felix is wrong, you know. Of course a vampire needs its coffin. But it also needs blood. What? People have it all wrong. Vampires only need to feed about every 50 years or so. And isn't a hospital a great place for it? It's like a candy store. Who are you? I made a mistake, Felix. You shouldn't have turned so soon. It doesn't matter. I'm almost done here anyway. We're gonna go upstairs. I don't think so. We haven't been properly introduced yet. <laughs> I should finish what I started. No! Sorry, kids. No one leaves. Yeah, me too. This isn't exactly the first date I had in mind. We get the chance for a second. The coffin. What? Felix said if we destroy it, we destroy the vampire. Yeah, but it won't let anyone near it. Except there's two of us. If I lure the vampire away, you can drag the coffin into the incinerator. There's no way I can move that big thing. But maybe you can. I lure the vampire away. You can move the coffin. Forget it, Amanda. If it gets you, you're dead. If we don't stop it, we're both dead. Got any more candy corn? So, where do I lure this thing? Hey, maybe you should come with us. Tell your friend I'll be upstairs! Tell me yourself. That's not a good idea. Too good. A hunter. <laughs> Felix, don't! I don't like to work so hard for my kills. <laughs> it's gonna get Amanda, Felix! Play me and Amanda's done! <sighs> <laughs> You're still in there, aren't you? Help me save her. <laughs> A 
lips in front of you and then lick up what's left. <laughs> Chief was supposed to be quiet. Are you okay? <sighs> Nothing a little sleep wouldn't cure. Amanda! What happened to the new girl? Did I scare her off already? <laughs> um, yeah. Something like that. Amanda? Are you okay? What happened? It's over. Everybody's back to normal. <sighs> they don't even remember what happened. There you are! Finish mopping the lobby, or I'll find somebody who knows how to work. I remember. Thanks. So, what was that about a second date? I'll have to check my schedule. But I'm pretty sure I can squeeze you in. Great. Cool. Gary. Could you wait a sec? Um, yeah, I guess. Ooh. Keep walking. It's getting a little hot. That story was about someone so busy, being busy, they missed a lot of possibilities. Yeah? Well, I, I was thinking about what you said, and maybe you and I have some possibilities. <sighs> really? Uh, that's great. Uh, why don't I, I put out the fire? And... No, not yet. I want to watch it a little. 